तो मुझको होस्ट कहाँ करोगे लेकिन मतलब यूट्यूब पे कैसे होस्ट होगा कहाँ पे कौन सा चैनल क्या Check what? Mm. Time. Kidar, kaha? Ruko. Oh, okay. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Everyone, how is the quarantine going? So, so I hope it is too distressful for you. So to make it more distressful, I would like to present my doctoral committee presentation part two, uh, which is to give the presentation on aggression and conflict resolution in Nicobar long-term macaque, a work which I did in Nicobar for my PhD under the supervision of Dr. H. N. Kumara from Salimali Institute. So aggression and conflict resolution is the are the two things i have present in this so i will begin with what is aggression so loosely speaking it is a behavior which involves actual or potential harm to another individual and why is it if it is harmful for another individual so there could be many things which might be important for that like number one settling status number two to have an access to a object or space which having an access to meeting like and there could be various internal factors such as hormones or stress everything so that there are three important aspects of aggression causation consequence and spontaneity these are put forward by lorenz in 1907 lorenz is also known as one of the founding fathers to understand aggression and competition in in, in animals So uh, I would like to introduce first with what is the competition, because the competition is the underpinning of aggression in, in any society, uh, not only macaques but many primates and other animals as well. So this is largely based on socio-ecological theory, which was first put forward by Rangham, and it has gone through many iterations and reiterations. Uh, a lot of discussions have been going on on that. Many people have also tried to discard that, and in 2017, uh, the last paper which has come up for in the so in support of sociological theory, um, Dr. Isbell has mentioned how we can use the sociological theory in understanding the society of macaques or any primates and understand the group of it. So, largely speaking, sociological theory says that. Females compete for food. Food is a resource which can be shareable among the individuals if it is shared in large quantity. For males, it is a little difficult because they fight for mates, and mating is something which is not shared. So uh, we'll come <clears throat> to each sex and how they compete for a particular resource. So we'll start with females, and again it will be explained by physical theory. and so females to compete for abundance and availability of food resources in a particular range or at particular time so females compete with each other for the access to the food resources so in case if this food is uniformly distributed there will be less competition and less aggression however if the size of food patch is smaller then the size of contest it will lead to contest competition. Competition with really high aggression, which was also suggested by Marley Zeeson in 2014 paper. Van Schaik and group also suggest that predator presence also affect the effect of competition. So, however, this is under debate, and there are a lot of uh, 
new theories which says the predation is something secondary and the most important thing is how the food distribution is in a particular home range so the sociality of females is dependent on the food which if abundant leads to low aggression and high rates of grooming and grooming which is also known as social currency and it indicates sociality of under high food availability higher percentage of conflict resolution now coming to mates as we already mentioned that competition is for the access to mating and shared individuals hence always high contest competition is expected among males when compared to females however this will depend on mate monopolization which depends on number one breeding seasonality in seasonally breeding macaques i mean um, at one point of time there will be a all the females will be in breeding uh, in 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 east west or receptive in that case it will be difficult for a dominant male to monopolize on all the receptive females which will lead to low pressure and grooming rates will be high and with the grooming rates which it will also not be directed towards high ranking males because usually rank directed grooming is performed when Uh, there is low accessibility to a particular resource. Okay. Ha ha ha. Sure. So access to resource in case of females or males or generally. So access. So for for example, in females, access as in suppose in an area there is plenty of. of fruit resources for for example in uh, i can explain it in two ways one is folivorous species so in folivorous species for for example langurs it's not a big problem because there are a lot of leaves which are uh, spread throughout the a particular strata or a particular matrix so in access access as in a particular individual to have a uh, a certain amount of food which they require it will be available throughout the uh, f- uh, food uh, i mean uh, the matrix and they won't be high or low for a particular individual however in case of frugivorous species it has been seen that fruit can may not be uniform throughout this matrix and they could be clumped resources so the dominant individuals or the most stronger individuals will try to maximize their fitness uh, you having maximum Uh, monopolizability to a particular number of fruit for example there are five fruits which is easily defendable by a dominant individual however uh, if there is there are thousands of fruits uh, lay, laying around throughout the matrix he cannot defend that so in that case they will be... yeah exactly you don't need to you don't need to. you don't need to in that way in that way they that's why in that way the problem will be of a different kind so when there is less fruit there will be more contest competition like i will try to defend it with strength but if there are l- more fruits i will try to maximize by eating as much as i can as soon as possible so that time it will uh, we can say that more of the competition will be between the groups rather than within the group so within the group of course it will be there but it will again be more of a scramble type where you can eat as much as you can so it's like first come first serve so you come you eat as much as you can and you leave to the next spot so basically again that will again depend on how much of these fruits maybe are ripened are ripe at this point of time so uh again the selection will again happen between the fruits and how which which species of fruit it is like the sugar content or dietary um, uh, in, i mean uh, component of it but again i mean it depends on how many or how much of these total uh, fruit or food is available in a in a, in a particular matrix similarly for males again it's the availability of resources as in mates so if males compete for mates so again it will depend on seasonality uh, and how much reliability is there 
when it comes to uh, understand okay this female is receptive or this female is not receptive so for number one the breeding seasonality <coughs> uh, pardon um at one point of time so suppose a species is seasonal what happens around that time is almost all the females uh, becomes receptive for mating so in that case one male cannot dominate on all the females and they cannot monopolize on all the females so there will be a competition they will be uh, i mean mating with other females as well with each female again that female choice will also come but uh, right now we are not looking at that so ha huh. okay uh can we pause for a minute ये कब तक चलेगा भाई
अबे मैंने कॉल किया भी नहीं है क्या पढ़ तो क्या नहीं नहीं वो बंद रखो यूट्यूब बंद रखो 